Fog Entertainment back again with another webisode discussion. We've already discussed Jack's tail getting shivved in prison. Episode. Episode, webisode. I think everyone doesn't, we forgot the names of them, and I think most people forgot they even existed, but I think they actually had quite a lot of, you know, background to season four, because if you look at season four, right, episode one, when the boys are back in town, Piney says to Tara, uh, that history's got to stay dead, that. Obviously, though, if you haven't seen this, you wouldn't really be aware of it, but we're here to discuss it. It's about a three and a half minute clip. Tara walks in, it is day 85 of the of in, in, incarceration. The boys are, so it's day 85, I mean, that's about three months since the end of um, season three, so Tara looking a wee bit more pregnant in this scene. Piney sitting there eating scrambled eggs and sausage with a bit of red sauce, and as Tara sits down, the rest of the mechanics just piss off. And at this point, right, I'm hearing people hype up the fact we all knew that Opie was president. I'm two episodes in here, and I'm just not seeing Opie at the head of the table. Now, not that Tara would walk in and interrupt him, but... Anyway, Tara. there's more chance of Gemma being at the head of the table than Opie. P- Piney actually mentioned Gemma. He's like, Aye, she's in the office. And he kind of like pointed it towards, uh, you know, the, the gavel. <laughs> but nah, I think he was actually referring to the TM office. But Tara sits him down and she's like, I want to know about John Teller. Piney's willing to listen to this and, you know, tell her a few things about John. But then Tara says she got a hold of some letters and Piney's ears perked up like a dog when it hears the treat box getting rustled. And he went, hmm, letters. And then she goes on to think that I don't think his death was an accident and that she thinks Clay was potentially involved. Dun, dun, dun. And the reason she's went to Piney because JT painted in these letters that Piney was the only guy he could trust at the end. And you know what, right? This is a lot of information for Piney to process, but the gimmick is JT has had that many sets of letters. Right? Maureen had some. Piney had some. I think even there's other people who's had some that I can't really think off the top of my head, but he had that many sets of letters for different people. Piney's probably hearing some of this for the first time. I think Piney always had suspicions about Clay, but I would say here, this is probably one of, maybe the first time that, you know, it's not confirmation, but I think Piney wants to read these letters. And for me, at this point, Piney's face absolutely drops and he wants Tara just to go back to spitting out babies and not talking about club business. And I think Piney actually dealt with this in pretty good fashion. What do you think? He said, if Tara pushes this, only bad things will come to our family, the Jacks and the boys. And you know what? Well, he was right, wasn't he? He was on the money. He wasn't wrong. He he, he predicted the future. She pushed. She should have just left those letters alone. And basically her pushing, bad things came to Piney. And you know, yeah, exactly. What I would say is, I think Piney's actually smart here. Because see, at the end of the day, it's just letters. And and Clay, I know, I know he did the whole thing against Donna, but I think the only reason he knew he could use these letters would be for leverage to get Clay out of something like the cartel business. Because if you think of it, see season three in the beginning of four, Clay and Piney are on good terms. He's good. Obviously, if he finds out that he's killed JT, but he's always had those suspicions. For me, I don't think Piney, I think he did the right thing here. And for Tara, I think she's actually the one that put this shitstorm in motion. I know you could say it was Maureen Ashby, right? But what do you think would have happened if Jax found the letters? I think what Tara did spiraled the letters. things in, in an actual worst scenario. Probably still wouldn't want to clear out though, would they not? Although, what did the letters really prove? Yeah, like the thing is, Obviously, Jax has a problem with what he did to his dad. I'm not denying that. But you could argue he tried to have Tara killed. Yeah, but the letters don't actually say. I think I think what really done it for Jax is what spiralled out of control of the letters. I don't think the same... If, if Jax just reads the letters, I don't think it plays out the same way at all. Clay was just paranoid about the letters. Yeah. And but, maybe, maybe Clay didn't actually know what the letters contained. And he thought maybe it would be worse. Maybe it would incriminate him more. But at the end of the day, I mean, all the letters really say is that Clay and Gemma were getting on behind his back and he feared that they were going to take him out. Put my head on a goddamn Reaper pole. (laughs) But, I mean, it's not like the letter says, oh, I, one day, you know, Jax, yeah, Clay came and messed with my bike and I died. (laughs) (laughs) Yeah, I mean, because obviously JT, I wonder how close to his death did he write these letters? Let's be real, Clay did fuck things up himself. He He's the one that tried to put an assassination attempt on Tara. He's the one that killed Piney. So, I mean, maybe Clay should have just played it a bit cool. 
Maybe you should just say to Piney and Tara, show them the letters, they don't mean shit. And that would have probably been a better response for Clay, but nah, he, just, he tried taking out two people to save to save Jax's eyes from seeing the letters, and in the end, it didn't really work out for him. So. <laughs> yeah, it did not work out for Clay. And uh, yeah, that is us guys done discussing this uh, episode. I'd love to talk about theories, but I don't think there's, I think the theories that all stem for this entire story arc will be just done in season four because, I mean, what is there really to talk about for this scene? I think it's a pretty decent scene. Piney actually seemed a bit more perky than usual, didn't he? He did. He, he seemed happy. You picked up on it. He had a bit of a higher tone in his voice. No, he's just, my insiders. <laughs> he just drops one. But anyway, we'll be back very soon. Up next, we have got Mexican basketball. What is that going to... Happen in that man. We'll we're gonna, out, we're gonna have Danny Trejo and Clay playing a wee bit of basketball. Who knows? Come around my table, as Ron Pillman would say, but until then, peace.